In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to twist and bend an object. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well, I'm going to go through this tutorials so that hopefully people who are uh, not that experienced in Blender can follow it. You've got this uh, screen or keycast here. Hopefully you can follow that. So all I'm going to do with this cube um, as an example is just press tab to go into edit mode. Then I'm going to press S followed by Z. Then I'm going to type in 20. And then use my left mouse to accept. Press 1 on my numbers pad to go into front view. To the left of the screen, I'm going to select loop cut. I'll place my pointer by the side of this, make sure it's selected so that I've got one cut here. I'll open up this box down here and I'm going to manually type in 200. You'll need to divide um, an object up to um, change the shape or bend it. So, so I've just created 200 um, sort of individual faces, if you like. Um, just select uh, select here. Now, a couple of things you may want to think about. I'm going to press seven on my numbers pad. Roll my middle mouse to get a better view on the top and I am going to select the face select up here and also this little tab here which says toggle x-ray I'll select this and over the top I'll just hold my left mouse button down and draw a box and that should select the, both the top and the bottom of this because I'm joining these together I don't need faces here so I'm going to hit delete and then select faces so that's deleted the faces and I'll turn this off again. Okay, now we're ready to go. I'm going to press tab and then one to go into front view. Now I'm not going to go into coloring. I have got a tutorial on uh, Facebook, uh, sorry, not Facebook, YouTube, which shows you how to color different areas. So hopefully you'll take a look at those. So with this selected, I'm going to come over to this wrench here. It says modifier properties. And then I'm going to select add and what you're looking for is simple deform so it will already be set up as a twist but it's twi trying to twist this on its x axis so I want to twist it on its z and you've got an option where you can just drag this up and it'll take you all the way up to 360 if you want to go further You'll have to manually type in a figure so this will be 720 in this instance so that's fine the other thing you may want to do um, is bend this item so you can either a accept and apply this here or if you want to do animations like I did by using keyframes the other way you can do it is come down add modifier um, simple deform again and this time I'm going to select bend and I'll select Y and again you can for this in, for this I'm going to just select 360 you can see what's happened here so I think I will um, apply these so use these drop down arrows here next to the cross apply this the only other thing you might want to do, if you want to smooth this off, um, I would press tab, select all, that's pre by pressing A, and then select the vertices, or the vertex selector up here, and then with everything selected, just right click, and next to merge vertices, I would, I would just select by distance, this will remove four duplicated vertices so now this is a completely solid object and that really is all there is to it hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers